many people would call it ESP, that's English for specific purposes, but we do have language for specific purposes, which is different, for example, from what STAMP does. STAMP is interested in general language that is important for you to communicate in the real world, in real situations, regardless of what um, job you have or what you graduated in, for example, right? Um, when you're talking about language for specific purposes, you're really zooming in on a specific part of the language that uses technical jargon. So if you were a nurse, for example, you might learn Spanish for nursing. And if you just have general Spanish, you may not be able to communicate in some situations that might be actually quite important to use that technical term. You need to understand what people are saying, for example, if you were a nurse, right? It could be a death or life situation, but it could also be a builder. You work in construction, right? So language for specific purposes measures not your ability to communicate in the, in the world at large, in a wide sample of situations, but your, specific, your um, ability to operate within the language in more specific situations. That's why it's language for specific purposes, right? And it's okay if your general language is not as proficient as your ability to communicate in that more specific, specific scenario, because you won't be needing many times to communicate in that general scenario.